Let's do some news! My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Today is February 28th, 2020. Tomorrow is leap year. It's leap year, so you get an extra day. Some people got paid today. Some people get paid tomorrow. Some people have to get paid, wait till get paid to the first or something. I don't know. And then some people were born on the 29th, and they turned four years old today. And they're going to tell everybody about how they're, oh, I'm only four years old because I was born on, on February 29th. <laughs> <laughs> everyone everyone's gonna yeah anyways so happy birthday to those folks who uh who are celebrating their like fifth or sixth birthday technically uh it does kind of suck having your birthday land on a day that doesn't exist three out of four years but uh but you but you i'm sure you're you're uh you're, you're powering through it uh speaking of powering through it <sighs> I guess today we're going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus because it is a big deal and it is uh, it is having a pretty significant impact on a lot of stuff on a lot of stuff. Um, let me actually let me change something here because I have a I have an article I want to show you guys. But unfortunately, the article is uh, it, it, they want you to pay for it. It's, it's a brand new article it just came out. Let me see. Santa Claire. Let me see if I can pull up another. Santa. But yes, this is so. Yeah, the coronavirus, uh, coronavirus, can't type and talk at the same time. There we go. Ten minutes ago. Perfect. Sorry, I'm watching the post try to charge you for this stuff. I'm trying I'm try to see all that stuff. I'm trying to pay for that. I'm trying to see the news. You can't pay for the news. I guess you can, actually. Um, so, coronavirus is, is, is a, it's a pretty big deal. At least everyone's making it out to be a pretty big deal. I feel like we should probably pay attention to it a little bit. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Neither are the people in charge, but that's, that's neither here nor there. Uh, we, we're being told that this is something that could potentially impact a lot of people. And what we don't really know is fucking all, fuck all, really, because we don't really have enough confirmed cases that are in areas where we could trust the information that's coming out of them in order to actually put out put out any kind of uh, actual statistics based off who it impacts or whatever. The only thing we have is a graph that someone's been, that people have been handing around for the past three or four days, already outdated, that says that people over the age of 80 or whatever have a 14.7% chance of, uh, of of dying when they when they actually contract the coronavirus uh, flu. <sighs> yeah, the uh, yeah the, the 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 stock market definitely took a huge hit over this whole thing, and you know we'll mention that a little bit later. But we really we should talk about the health part first, not necessarily the money part, right? Um, the money part is going to have a pretty significant impact in the future. Yes, yeah, Chester actually has the only. This is the only. <laughs> It is the only uh, 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 face mask we have in the whole house. Actually, Chester is doing me a solid. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hey. Hey, Chester. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Man, hook me up with one of these. Yeah, look at this. This is me contracting the coronavirus right here live. Mmm, <coughs> mmm. Thank you, Chester. I, I really know hold up for reals, though. I did, I did, I did. Put ice in here, a little cup. <laughs> it's perfect, little. T- <laughs> there you go. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, all right. So the first conference starting. Oh man. So I uh, this actually just came in, and you know this is local news for me because I live in uh, the Santa Clara County area, and. Uh, we have our second case of coronavirus. This one, however, is different from the first because it is of unknown origin. That sucks because when it's of unknown origin, they can't really track the lineage of it, where it came from, how it was transmitted. They got basically no data. We don't know if the person who got this thing went and licked the toilet seat or was sucking toes or something and all of a sudden got the virus or if they were they're, they're, they're walking around on BART or something or the local public transportation or at Walmart and got the virus. We have absolutely no idea how this happened. <sighs> so this is the, uh, the freshest of the fresh. This is the newest of the new. There is a website. I did, I did include it a couple weeks ago on news. Uh, I, I have mm, toes. Mm, coronavirus toes. Love them. <laughs> that was a sound. <laughs> 
Uh, so this is the the uh, the uh, I guess official uh, site where they basically track all of the coronavirus um, uh, cases and the outbreak, you know, who's impacted and all that stuff. And you can see, obviously, Asia is pretty is pretty well effed because of the uh, because that's where it originated from. And while we're getting things popping up all over the place elsewhere, uh, just just so you could see like what the um, how, how big of a difference like one day makes, right? Not even one day. Last night, I took a screenshot of this screen, and the total confirmed cases was 83,389. Today, it's 84,124. Yesterday's deaths was 2,858. Today's death is 2,867. So nine people have died between last night... Like late last night, 1.13 p.m., whatever time, local time. Oh, sorry, uh, 10.24 p.m., which I think that was local time for me. Um, actually, wait, is it 1.13 p.m.? Maybe not. Maybe not. I think it's like a time difference here. But anyways, it was about 12 hours ago that I took this screenshot. And just to, just so I could see what it looked like in terms of uh, the, how this thing is progressing and everything. So the red dots at Zoom out. So exaggerated. They are exaggerated. Absolutely. But um but that's not the that's not the problem though. Like <laughs> the the circles being too big is not is not is not a means to be like oh everything's fine. The circles are just too big. We'll be totally fine, guys. No, 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 no. This is definitely something that people should at least have some kind of minor concern about, especially if you live in a coastal city like I do, <laughs> and probably all of your favorite content creators. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be messy, and it's mostly gonna be messy because I you know, I think because but the way people are. I mean, first off, we're going to uh, do a little bit of a uh, 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 precautionary measures. Like you know, let's let's like just like not go to I don't know any convention. Like for example, GDC. GDC watching coronavirus concerns closely as epic. Uh, as as oh that's a typo there uh, epic microsoft and others cancel appearance i have a whole list here ea epic amazon unity microsoft sony blizzard have all officially pulled out of gdc there is pretty much nobody at gdc now like the only big company left i mean there's other big companies that, that are still you know probably gonna go uh but nintendo i would say is the next the next biggest like game company that has not officially pulled out of not that i found anyways uh pulled out of gdc but they're right now at their own convention at pack i'm oh, sorry they're, they're actually at pax east right now they have a whole booth set up and everything for um uh, for new leaf that they're doing out there uh let's see the creators of ashes of creation also officially canceled yeah so there's gonna be lots of like of of of, of sm- i don't say smaller but you know like some people like companies that are not as big as amazon and you know all of them that are gonna be pulling out as well once the big gu- once the big dogs pull out there's really no reason to go. GDC, unfortunately, you know, it's not like it's not like a, a a whole bunch of it's one company that's basically hosting the whole thing. It's not like a whole bunch of you know companies that come together like E3 electronics, you know, they, where they all come together and so if, so if they shut it down, it's not like a loss for like one uh, for uh, like a little bit of loss for everybody. It's like one big loss for like one you know group. And the game developers conf- conference folks like they're gonna suffer a pretty significant loss because I can almost guarantee they're going to close this thing down. And if they do, if they do move forward with this, I have a feeling that uh, that San Francisco will probably shut it down. Very similar, very similar to how over in Poland, uh, I E M Katowice, where they have StarCraft tournaments and uh, CS GO. They have actually uh, canceled any on-site uh, att- well, on-site attendance for anybody. So basically, no crowds for any of these uh, tournaments that are going on over in uh, Katowice. So, uh, but for them, and this is where I think this is going to come into play with here in the San, in San Francisco Bay Area, uh, or anywhere that there's a convention. Actually, I shouldn't say specifically just here. It's not just about me. It's about like anywhere that there's a convention. This is the case. This is the case of the local authorities saying. You cannot have, you cannot basically get all these people together in one room. You just can't do it. Um, there was another, uh, there's another, I want to say Sweden. So I think it's Sweden. So you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. That is also banned any gatherings over a thousand people. 
So this is definitely having a ripple effect. Like just over the past like three days, like three days, we've had so many cancellations, so many, uh, so many companies pulling out. Like, you can't, you can't attend these these things, like these these events, uh, you know, because of the the local authorities or, or health commission or whatever. Um, and so yeah, it's it's definitely have there's a ripple effect happening here. And you know, we see it with the stock market for sure. Like it's it's all this stuff is adding up to like people not going to work, people calling out sick, people, uh, you know, just. There, there's going to be a loss of production, as we've already seen with, for example, uh, the Valve Index. The Valve Index is now going to be going to have some uh, delays because of uh, because of the virus, because nobody's making shit over in China right now. Uh, Apple did report that they feel uh, that production is picking back up in China because things are back under control. Whatever that might mean. I don't know. I'm not there. You know. uh, is it Switzerland? Thank you so much. I knew it was a sw- <laughs> I knew it was that. I knew it was that part. Um, uh, but yeah, conventions were bad enough before. Yeah, this is this is the new con, the con pox or whatever the. <laughs> it's a con pox. Oh my god, the con. Yeah, Ugh, this is the new uh, Pax pox is what it was. Yeah, it's, but this is gonna be the new one. Con crud. Yeah, Pax pox. Yeah, there's a different name for for every every convention, but. Yeah, it's it's the new one. It's the one that you don't want. You the one. It's the one that you really don't want if you have like grandparents, you know, uh, because that seems to be uh, based off the limited information that we have. Where it's those are the folks that are most susceptible to it. So we don't want to. So I get it. Like you know, you don't want to. We want to shut down these things, these conventions. We don't want people attending these things, getting these groups together. I mean, other conventions that have closed down. The uh, here here's another one here. This I actually mentioned earlier. The whoop. Capcom Pro Tour, three events were removed from the uh, from the Pro Tour because of the coronavirus concerns. Ultra Instinct, Pax Pox, yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's just like ultra, ultra, mega, whatever, extreme. Um, so yeah, concerns over spread of the coronavirus have led Capcom to cancel the first three events of the Capcom Pro Tour season. Uh, you could probably expect more. Because why? Because it's a gathering of a whole lot of people that are traveling from all over the world. So yeah, these things are, every, every event is going to get... Is going to be impacted by this. Uh, in China already, League of Legends tournaments are taking place online only. They're not even getting the players together to compete. Um, and love that it's on ESPN. It is nice. It is nice. Taking it seriously. Uh, Eve Fan Fest actually was also canceled. So we, I think we could pretty much say with, with some level of confidence that PAX East is probably going to be the last big gaming convention for a long time because no one's going to want to come to these things. No one's going to want to travel to go somewhere where they could potentially be exposed to something that we don't really know a lot about, you know? Uh, can we just call 2020 a loss? Dude, it's only, well, it's technically the end of February, but still, like, we're only 60 days into the year and so much has happened. <laughs> like, there's so much happening. Uh, Iceland will probably close all airports. They can shut everything down. Uh, they're considering canceling Olympics too. They are considering canceling the Olympics. That's right. I feel like a jerk drinking this, but I wanted to silence all the fucking Corona jokes. <laughs> silence. The year being afraid to see people or just another year. Exactly. Shut it down and grab your Corona beers. Uh, also talking about canceling the Asian F1 race. Yeah, so it, it's going to be, like I said, it's a ripple effect, right? We're see- what we're seeing right now in our own, you know, in our own little community called the games industry, uh, you know, it's it's every single day more things are getting canceled. People are thinking about oh, maybe we shouldn't get people together for this, whatever. Uh, and I mean, right as of right now, actually, uh, Twitch Twitch is still promoting TwitchCon in uh, in Amsterdam. So and that's in May. I I I I would I would go ahead and say if you're planning on going there, I would get refundable tickets because. You don't really know if if uh, if it's going to be something that you're going to uh, you're going to be able to, to attend. <laughs> you don't know that. Uh, I just bought yearly pass to view F1 live streams. I hope they don't cancel all F1 races. They you know they might just cancel the crowds maybe. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? There's one case in Amsterdam at the moment, and they do not know how she got it. F- fuck it, that's F's right there. <laughs> that's it. That's. That's all it takes right there. Uh, Facebook F8 was canceled. Uh, the the biggest uh, mobile, uh, what is the call I've written down here? Uh, mobile World Congress, which is the biggest mobile device, whatever, like, um, it's, like it's basically like CES for like specifically mobile uh, convention. That is uh, is now canceled. It's 
it's just having such a ripple effect. Uh, actually, I have a quote here from uh, from the GDC folks themselves. It says, if our assessment of the situation changes based on new and evolving development of developments or updated information, we will promptly update this statement regarding the status of GDC 2020 accordingly. And I'm sure they're going to update it very soon because I just can't, I can't see that they're going to have a convention when everybody's pulling out. Like there's just, I mean, it's just, I mean, this thing is not even updated all the way because I mean, how many updates are update February 27th, update February 27th, update February 27th, update February 28th. Like it's just, and they haven't even updated it to include uh, Amazon and uh, and EA was in that mix too. So yeah, it's just, it, it's just not happening. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, let me see. Uh, so guys, let me state where I'm like 30, 40, 30, 40 minutes from nowhere. Yeah, all of you guys who are living in rural, rural anywhere, right? You guys are in, uh, you guys are in a good, in a good way. I, 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 I have. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going all doomsday prep around this shit or anything like that. But I'm definitely obsessing over it just a little bit, just kind of find every little detail, things I can find out about whatever. Um, and you know, it definitely wears on you a little bit. It's like I got, I get updates from my kid's school. I get updates from my kid's daycare center. I get updates direct from, from the school district as well. Uh, I get updates from next door. I get updates from the fucking internet just in general twitter my friends my by you know it's just everybody i'm getting updates from all over the place i feel very i i i have to like temper my expectations a little bit it's like okay i'm not gonna panic about this i'm just getting a whole lot more information than probably the average person just like throwing in my face so all i'm gonna do is some basic prep we're gonna do a little bit of inventory and make sure we have well, lots of food and we do we have lots of mushroom soup and a shitload of rice and that's all you need. <laughs> that's, that's all you need. We'll be good for weeks. Weeks. Totally good. Coronavirus happens and suddenly everyone pulls out game. But everyone's pull out game is strong. <laughs> I can always go to my parents in the middle of nowhere. Except my mom has terrible immune system. So I probably need to stay away from her. Treat it like Independence Day. Remember Independence Day? How they all like ran out and got in the RVs and ran out to build the desert. That's what it's going to be like, man. That's what it's going to be like. And water. Yeah, we have a ton of water too. Mm. Oh my God. You imagine if they actually came out and said, "Oh, it's it's transmittable through water, through water sources or something." It lives in water for uh, contaminated water sources could be contaminated for upwards of fourteen days or something like that. You (laughs) met now, like I said, the 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 deaths that you're seeing that are happening are typically older folks. Now the media is going to try really hard to like not mention that. Like for example, the British guy who died on on a boat outside of Japan earlier today, right? First off, apparently he doesn't even live in in, in uh, the UK, but he's from the UK. Uh and second, they neglected to say that he was 75 years old. Now, if they said that first, people would have been like, "Well, he's 75 years old." <laughs> <laughs> that is that is that is the threshold for if you get sick at this age with something that we don't really know anything about, you're probably screwed. Which sucks. Which sucks. I know lots of seventy five year old people. They're great people, <laughs> like my mother in law and my hundred and one year old great grandmother. Uh, yeah, it's um, gotta be careful, man. Gotta be careful with them with them old folks. Uh, bottle of water prices suddenly surge. Uh, he would have died from the basic flu, probably. Yeah, I mean, he's on a boat, probably like not very well treated. Who knows? But uh, the host always wanted to have an RV caravan in the Nevada desert, right? Every time when I, when I saw that the first time, I was like, God, that looks awesome. They're just like running across the desert in RVs. Like, God, that's, that's fucking great. One of them was like toy. I think one of them was towing like a sea dew or something. It's like, wait a minute. Uh, am I playing plague? <laughs> there actually is another. There's there's a couple toggles here that we could hit where it'll hide the uh, yeah here, existing cases. So existing cases is a little bit more accurate. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 basically just a different color. <laughs> if we're being honest, it's just a different color. But yeah, yeah. So existing cases. So we yeah, we just had one that popped up here in the. Uh, uh, in Santa Clara County, and they don't know the origin of it. We had another one that popped up oh, out near um, Solano County, which is like out near Sacramento, and they don't know where that came from. So the more cases that pop up where they don't know its unknown origin, like that's that's the scary part because we don't know. Like I said, it could be the water, man. It could be drink tap water, get sick. Whoop. Um, let me see. Uh, from what uh, from what info is so what I write in my country? Ninety three percent of the quarantine have been released, and yeah, the deaths seem to be all elderly. Yeah, all elderly. I hope Elon Musk's space internet is up by the time we need to hide out in the middle of nowhere, so we could yeah, just we have to go without internet. Exactly. 
Uh, that Italy circles like half of Europe. Yeah, Italy actually went through, and they they can they. Uh, I think that's misleading, right? Because didn't they just go and just contain? Let's see. Oh, they no, they did confirm. Okay, because I know they could. They actually went through a, a containment thing. I, I don't know anybody. In, are any of you guys in Italy right now? Um, but uh, but yeah, I heard that they did like a massive containment or something like that on people that were uh, uh, that were potentially infected. So I thought this no, these numbers might be. Uh, they contain an entire city. Yeah, there you go. Fuck me, dude. Fuck. It's just crazy. It's crazy, right? And you know, like you know, people freaked out about SARS, swine flu, avian flu, H one Z one, H one N one, H one Z one. Are we gonna get a game out of this one too later? Um, you know, people freaked out about uh, you know about those too. But now we're way more connected than we were. Like even even what was the last one? H one N one, right? Uh, even H one N one. Like we we were not quite as connected as we are now. So information travels so much more quickly, um, and you're you're constantly bombarded with news and headlines and everything. So it's tough to tell. Like, is this worse right now, or is it too soon to tell? Is this worse? Like in terms of how much we're freaking out now versus like uh you know any of the previous ones it's tough to tell because we don't i feel like we really know how many uh we don't really know uh the severity of it like yet we don't have enough data um did you mention the schools in japan thing yet so yes schools in japan have closed down uh and i think they're telling people and and, like workers like stay home or something right uh oh damn shakil (laughs) who knows a guns (laughs) um which is, which is pretty significant because, you know, the Japanese have a very, like, work ethic as part of their ethos. Like, that is part of their culture is their work ethic, you know? So, for them to, like, close things and send people home and do all that stuff, like, that is, that's significant, you know? Like, that's a significant thing for, for that culture. Um uh, let's see with some interesting youtube videos about the wuhan quarantine in china pretty amazing i haven't seen any of them yet it's t- it's it's tough because you already get bombarded with so much stuff you don't necessarily want to like completely inundate yourself with uh with the news the advent of discord has a massive godsend for sharing information between gamers and and only fans leaks apparently um <laughs> for a month workers stay home too uh you know alex was uh, talking about it so yeah i heard that they were um yeah that they're 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 closing things up closing up shops sending people home uh yeah obviously the stocks are impacted by this as well because i mean you know it's it's just part of the world economy you need people to work and if people aren't going if people have to stay home and take care of the kid they're not working they're not producing if 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 you're not having people travel you know if people aren't traveling then they're not you know doing places for work or doing whatever like basically life in terms of like work ends up stopping or at least slowing down significantly. So the production ends up slowing down significantly. And what ends up happening is a part of the ripple effect is things aren't going to get made. So the stock market is taking a huge shit right now and everyone could speculate as to why, but I think that it's pretty safe to say that it's, it's ahead of the, it's ahead of the possibility that more and more production is going to slow down to the point to where companies are going to start losing money anyway. So sell, get rid of it. Um, did China's GDP drop a massive amount last quarter because of the coronavirus? You know what? I don't know. I actually don't know that. I should look that up. I didn't know. Uh, let's see. 8 million inhabitants, no one outside in the streets. It's fucking crazy. Dude, even even taking my kid to uh, school today, um, <clears throat> I didn't encounter as much traffic as I typically do. And it makes me wonder if parents are starting to keep their kids home from school, like in a panic. Uh, and then and then walking donuts are along my, our usual routes where I see usually tons of people. It was... It was only only like the regular regulars were there. Um, and so, yeah, I, th- I think that people that there are there are definitely people who are like, mm, maybe I'll just. Not go out in public today and I can't blame them. I, I really can't. Hi, BFF community in the middle of a forest summer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Absolutely. But then, but then, if 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 the entire uh, you know uh, civilization like collapses and everything, uh, we have to go by our our handles. Like no more, like you know, guns. So if I meet you in person, your guns. I guess I would still be a comic cab, which sucks. But but yeah, so all of you guys are gonna be going by your handles now, like kittens. <laughs> Call kids to his face. Uh, <laughs> community meetup and decontamination event. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, no real names, right? No real names. No real names. Um, what if one of us comes there and brings the virus? Well, then you will be exiled, banished. 
most fun thing I've read is people are now testing positive after they were cleared from a 14 day quarantine. There's a video, um, Fox News posted a video, uh, and it has a guy who was, he said he's cleared. Uh, let me, I'll find it right now. It's Fox News. Uh, cough. <laughs> it's the first thing that pops up. <laughs> here we go. So here's here's the video. I'll play it for you guys here. For fucking playing Fox News on, on this show. What the fuck? Didn't see this coming. Hopefully, doctors and scientists will get a better hmm. better handle on on the whole situation. Fortunately, from what I understand, you know, <clears throat> it is contagious, but the death rate is is pretty low <coughs> so um yeah i understand the fear yeah. yeah well we can see you still have a cough what do the doctors say about your own condition moving forward mm. as we wrap this up mm. um <coughs> excuse me let me get some of that <laughs> they said um yeah i'm fine uh, i got tested twice uh negative both times uh the cough Probably just uh, nerves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> probably just nerves. <laughs> it's probably just nerves, guys. <laughs> oh man, uh, you know. <laughs> now listen, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't know if this guy is gonna relapse and have it, but people are freaking out because he shared water with his daughter. Let me tell you something about about families, okay? <laughs> if one person has something. Uh, and they spent any significant amount of time at home, everybody else has it too, all right? So him sharing water with the kid, probably not a big deal, but people are going to freak out about that. Him having a cough after the fact is just, is just a sign that, uh, you know, there, there is a term, uh, what is it? Uh, ec please exercise an abundance of caution with things that you are not familiar with, right? And... I would say that the coronavirus is something that we are not entirely familiar with. So maybe we should exercise an abundance of caution with it. So when somebody is cleared from, uh, uh, you know, clear, do we just put them right back out into the general populace when we don't really know if, I mean, as was mentioned, like maybe there could be like a relapse or maybe, you know, it's dormant or whatever. Uh, we don't fucking know. Uh, I want this either be cured or be, contan be contained. I got a trip to Disney World in May. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, May is a good ways away. Uh, you know, what? what's probably going to happen is... This thing is going to just get out of control. It's going to spread. It's going to be everywhere. I mean, already we have unknown cases popping up all over the place. Or unknown origin cases all over the place. Uh, it's just going to be everywhere. And then what's gonna, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to deal with it like the, like the regular flu. It's just going to be a more severe regular flu. And it is. It is, it is a more severe regular flu, uh, flu based off of the limited data that we have. Now, obviously, once we get more data, we could probably figure out, oh, you know what? It's not as bad as the regular flu. Or it's just as bad as the regular flu. Uh, and it just comes down to, you know, just waiting for a vaccine, which could take 18 months uh, for that to happen and just taking preventative measures. Like, for example, putting your last mask on a stuffed animal for the fucking lols, those kinds of things. Um, on the other hand, if I ever get any sort of illness that includes a cough, I will keep coughing for months after for no reason. Yeah, you know what? And so do I. Like last year, I had a cough that just would not fucking go away for like two months and I was not sick or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna bust this guy's chops for, for coughing and then sharing water with his daughter. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust everybody involved with making this video's chops for not taking, and you know, for not, I guess, for not presenting themselves as taking any level of precautionary measures. It just feels like, hey, this guy's clear. <coughs> Why don't we go and get him on the <coughs> show and just talk to him for just like <coughs> while he holds his daughter in his lap and shares, you know, whatever. It's like, yeah, it just seems like it's, it just seems a little reckless to do in this. Like, let's let's go ahead and talk with somebody who's recovered from this. Let's talk to anybody who's recovered from the flu. How do you feel? I feel better. I feel like I'm not sick anymore. Okay, well, great. <coughs> so I have a lingering cough though. It's normal. But no, we don't understand this thing. We should take it abundance of caution. Stock up on rice, okay? Uh, was he on the show? Was it long distance call from the from home? It was. Uh, there was like a fake backdrop or something. I don't know like where they filmed this or whatever. Maybe it's like a local studio, like a local affiliate, and then they they pipe it in. So everybody at that local affiliate is now like fucked. But um, but you know, I don't think that they uh, uh, they brought him into the actual studio. Um, Fox News reckless. People are already clearing store shelves in the U.S. Yeah, I have a friend who works at Home Depot, and he says that. 
Uh, is GDC canceled as a website? No, it's not. No, it's not. I'll, I'll, I'll look. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me see. God, that'd be great if it was. Oh my God, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> is GDC canceled yet? No, but it probably should be. <laughs> uh, who is canceled so far? This is great. This is a pretty definitive. It's a very bright website. Uh, God, I don't have dark mode installed on this thing right now. So that's... But uh, let's see. Uh, Gearbox is pulled out. Uh, Blizzard, we know Blizzard. Amazon, we know they have. Uh, Sony and Facebook, we know that as well. Um... Microsoft, we know. Facebook Gaming, we know. Unity, we know. Uh, uh, Epic, of course, we know. Audio Kinetic, we just had announced that we'd not be attending. Uh, Audio Kinetic team. Uh, let's see. Uh, see C oh, CDPR pulled out as well. I, I missed that one. P uh, PUBG Corp pulling out. Uh, Kojima Productions pulling out. I'm just going to guess that every single one of these is people just, is just pulling out. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is significant. I'm bright at this. I know, I know. This is like, this is like really, really bright. I can just close that window. But th thank you for that. It's it's not canceled, which is pretty funny. Um, because yeah, like the site says, it should be. Um, <clears throat> I think what I should probably start doing is lowering the brightness on this monitor when we do news. That way, I'm not getting blasted by by bright lights. We'll work on that another time. Uh, so, well, <laughs> I guess I guess I guess that's. I mean, that's that's really that's about the gist of it. As of 3.37 p.m. Pacific Time on uh, February 28th, 2020. I can't speak to 3.38 p.m. Fuck knows what's going to happen in that whole minute because stuff is happening constantly. There's constant updates for this. There's constant new, uh, uh, you know, uh, new cases that are popping up. Uh, people are, the companies are pulling out of uh, of GDC. You know, E3 is is definitely on the bubble right now. Uh, I'm certain. I mean, already. I mean, let's be honest. Already, E3 had plenty of companies that were pulling out. So, you know, we'll probably just not. Uh, they'll probably just uh, continue that trend. I guess it's the end of the world as it's right. Oh man. So, <clears throat> well. Speaking of going to hell, Diablo 4 has a new update on the devs. It works. All right, so they put out a quarterly update. <laughs> they put out a quarterly update where they talked a little bit about some of the uh, some of the design decisions design decisions behind UI, uh, couch co-op, uh, stuff like that. It's a relatively short uh, blog post. Feel free to go and read it yourself if you like to, uh, if you're interested at all in Diablo 4. I know that now with Wilson and, of course, PoE has got a new, uh, new more information about their upcoming season and, of course, sequel and all that good stuff. Um, you know, we, there's plenty of information out. There's plenty of other ARPGs out there. But for those of you folks who do want to uh, or are interested in Diablo 4 stuff, they have a blog post here. And I'm going to highlight some of the things they talked about. So first off, they said they have controller support for PC, which for me is a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. ARPGs for me are kind of like, a, it's kind of a mindless grinding game. I'm going to smoke a joint and sit on the couch and fucking play, right? Uh, I don't really want to think too much. Maybe I'll get in there like over, like you know, maybe go through and adjust my gems or, or my gear or whatever, kind of move things around. Like I want to, that's, I want to do that from the couch. That's just kind of how I want to play. I'm, I'm done playing. I mean, I still will play it on the PC, but still, it's rather have a little controller support. So they are putting controller support out for, um, uh, at launch for PC. And consoles too, obviously. Uh, okay, Dad, shut up, Top. Uh, <laughs> uh, they've changed their inventory. And actually, I'm gonna find an image of this because I'm not I, honestly. I, I don't. And, and and feel free to voice your your opinions on this here. So this is the this is the way that they're doing inventory now. I, I mean, it's work in progress, of course. But to me, it feels a little lackluster to have just a, like a single cell for each item, even though it does make a, a little bit more appealing in terms of like, I could, now I know that if I have an empty slot, I could fit this legendary staff in it, right? But I, I personally feel like the Tetris, the, the, you know, Tetris in your inventory is kind of a staple of ARPGs. But if this is the evolution, basically simplifying it by doing it like this, um, then I guess that's that's that is what it is. Like, I mean, 
at this point, it's basically just a list. It's really just a list because there's no space concerns outside of just like how many can you fit in your list? Uh, you hate inventory Jenga? Yeah, so I might be in the minority here, which is which is fine, please. Uh, see, no more Tetris minigame. That'll work if you think uh, how D3 had consumables in a different UI window versus now it's an inventory screen. Will it have a weight limit or just a limited amount of slots? Uh, as far as I know, it's just slots, not weight limit. I want to fit two rings and amulets, damn it. So does that mean uh, what item fits away at once? Yeah, so a spear does not take up three slots. So this this might be, uh, thank you, Buffy. Uh, this this might be good news for a lot of folks. And honestly, I mean, I, it's, this is not a game breaker for me at all. I just, you know, it's like, this is just the beginning of them putting out their uh, their design decisions and the thoughts behind, like, why they make some of these decisions and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, here they're basically, they were just talking a little bit about the uh, about the character design, the uh, couch co-op, what was the other thing too? Oh, it's our action bar placement. This is actually pretty interesting. Interesting. Uh, if you guys are, <clears throat> you know, concerned about where the action bar can be, they're actually giving you options on um, uh, on PC. So they actually have this really cool. First off, they give us eye tracking here, so you can see like where your eyes are. And here, this is a really good graph because it shows that when you're further away from your TV and playing, moving your eyes to the corner to look at something is not a whole lot of movement, right? But when you're sitting in front of a monitor, moving your eyes to the corner is, okay, right? Does it make sense, right? Closer, so there's more, more, more of an angle there. Uh, and so for the PC, they're gonna give you options to put it in the middle or off to the left. I think it's just off to the left, or they might change it later. Uh, this is something that, you know, I mean, I, I wish they'd just give you the straight Lua, just let people just do, like, I want, like, DPS meters and such, like, custom mods, but, yeah. Uh, I'm on ultra wide, so look in the corner. It is a big deal. No, scrap. No, I, I totally agree. Like, I, I do appreciate when I play a game on the ultra wide, uh, and I have the UI or the HUD remains in the 16 by 9 framework, right? And then, but, but the game extends beyond that. Like, I do appreciate that. Because whenever they put that shit in the corners, it's like, how am I supposed to see that over there? <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> was, where's my mana at? <laughs> uh, you're an ultra wide so, uh, so, uh, console need a handicap for their eyes. Oh, shut up, Top. I sit about three feet from the screen. Yeah, I don't know how far I sit from the screen myself, but uh, yeah, I think everybody sits about like two or three feet. Like, I sit pretty, yeah. Um, if you move your head to, to glance, it's bad news. If you have to move your head to glance, it's bad news. There you go. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so they talk a little bit about uh, supporting controllers and how they're going to do it. There's a nice little gif here, actually, where they, 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 uh, they demonstrate it. Let me can zoom in here. So you could see a little bit better. Uh, it's, I mean, it, I'm just showing you guys cursor, moving the cursor. That's it. That's all they're doing. It's good. I mean, it's good that they're uh, they're taking these uh, measures and they're looking at it. <clears throat> this is probably the biggest news here. Whoa. <laughs> this is if you played uh, if you played Diablo three on consoles like I have, uh, and that's actually the reason why I, it ruined me. Um, for ARPGs because console like controller ARP controller Diablo 3 was just so good. Uh but the downside is when you play co-op, only one person could have their menus open at any given time. Yes, it's also a preview of the uh, talent tree too. Uh and it was annoying because it's like, oh I gotta do some inventory Jenga. <laughs> I gotta I gotta do an inventory Jenga. Can you can we stop for a second? I gotta take up the whole screen. Why don't you go grab yourself a drink and I'll just go ahead and finish this up. When I'm done, we can keep going. And so this is great. This is a uh, talent twig. Yeah, it, there's kind of just like a little. Um, so yeah, it's it's they're designing certain elements and they found that two was a sweet spot. They found that a lot of people were actually playing couch co-op uh, with, with two people. And so they designed their UI to support um, uh, support that, basically support two people accessing it at the same time. So good. Yeah, split screen UI. Exactly. Uh, okay, back with drink further instructions. Drink it. <sighs> like that. Four, four player couch co-op and only one person can manage inventory at a time was a nightmare in old games. Oh god. I, I, I didn't try anything more than two people in Diablo um, 2. So, or 3 rather. So yeah, it's th th there's there's news coming out. There's news coming out, and if you're a fan of Diablo, I'm a fan of Diablo. Uh, I'm not a fan of Blizzard, but I'm sure by the time I'm sure by the time the game comes out that you know, you know they'll they'll be they'll be they'll be good again, right? They'll be good again. There's, we're hoping, we're hoping, we're hoping. Uh, so yeah, some good information there, and you can find that link uh, 
in the description below, unless you're watching live, in which case you just saw it. So, uh, <clears throat> the game's gonna run on Chromium. What? The slow death of hope. Oh no, I know. <sighs> Six apologies till D4 release. <laughs> it's active. Oh, active. Oh, that's right. It's Activision's fault. Uh, let's see. Next up, let me see. This is a case of developers uh, or, or game companies actually working for us, which is kind of nice. God, that is so motherfucking bright. I can't turn it down. <sighs> All right. So, GOG, you guys have probably heard this news already. Uh, they have a new refund policy and they're giving people up to 30 days to return or to refund their game. 30 days. Now, if you're not familiar with GOG, their whole thing is that it's, um, well, it's, uh, it's, I'm brain farting here. <laughs> DRM free. God, just sh boop. Uh, it's DRM free. Thank you, Top. Where were you 30 seconds ago? Uh, it's DRM free. And so if you, if you download a game, buy a game from them and you process a refund, they don't know if you're still playing it. They have no way of knowing if you're still playing it. It's, it's a 100% the honor system. And obviously this was brought up in the original thread where they announced, made the announcement they're, they're putting out the, um, sorry, there's kind of weird banging outside. Uh, and in that, in that, in the responses for that, the original tweet, they said that, uh, you know, somebody was like, well, what if somebody takes advantage of this? And they say, well, it's the honor system. We're hoping that people don't take advantage of it. And I, 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 I have to give them credit for, you know, going this route. But at the same time, as you could see, the developers uh, are, are concerned. They're concerned because it's their money. It's, it's their money that... GOG is taking a gamble with. This is not, I mean, yeah, obviously GOG, you know, they, 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 um, you know, they stand to lose some money as well, of course, but <laughs> they, they didn't tell the devs, they didn't tell anybody. And so I don't know what's going to happen in terms of what, how, how the developers are going to like process this and what they're going to do. But you I mean, it's just what everyone at GOG believes in a game is first approach, but it's update uh, to our voluntary refund policy adds another piece of that customer friendly experience. And it all sums, it's all sums up in one sentence. Starting now, you can refund up to 30 days. So here's Remy Ismail says, uh, uh, well, I don't know what this one, 30 days is a lot more than I feel is necessary to evaluate a game and a lot more than almost all games take to complete if you play them for an hour daily. Young me would definitely abuse the hell out of this. Is this something I will say about the GOG refund policy change? Is that GOG did not tell the devs before they did it, which is pretty shitty, regardless of whether you think it's a good idea or not. So it is, uh, you know, for the most part, yeah, I think some developers are concerned because, like I said, they're playing with their money. Uh, they'll leave for the Epic Store. Exactly. Run a cracked, uh, cracked Steam, buy Steam games, refund in two hours, move files to crack. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is Can it be abused? Yeah, but to be frank, uh, the guys who would abuse it most likely pirate the games regardless. Yeah, and that's that's a good point. That's a good point to make. It's it's It seems super sketch right it's super sketch uh but you know i mean pirates gonna pirate the thing is though with with pirating stuff is you're always taking a risk the key the key gen the key gen might might be a trojan it might be a key logger right like the the, the, the actual tracker, you know, might be tracked. <laughs> like, there's so many things. There's so many things you have to look out for when you're pirating stuff. Not that I would know. Uh, and so, this could be, to some folks, just a way for them to buy games and just, and, and then just refund them. Uh, and that's an easy way for them to do it. So, GOG might see an increase in sales, but some of those people might actually keep the game. Sure! A lot of people might buy it and then return it, but like you said, those people weren't going to buy the game anyways, but some of them might keep it. Maybe. Now, obviously there's going to be a system in place. I mean, I say obviously because any company <laughs> with a brain would do this. Something, some kind of way, in, something in place to track how many refunds an account is getting. So if somebody buys a game, a brand new account, buys a game, refunds it right away, okay, fine buys another game, refunds it right away, mm, maybe go fuck yourself, right? So there should be, a, yeah, Steam, Steam says that they will, 
they re- they they reserve the right to refuse refunds, which I'm sure GOG's uh, policy says the same thing. Um, but I just hope that it's something that doesn't take. 10 refunds before it happens and i'm also certain i think actually uh Freycor mentioned this uh, uh when we were talking about it i wasn't talking about it, i was reading him talking about it uh Freycor, weren't you talking about the oh fuck all i wish i should have took notes on, on what you said but you know Freycor seems to be not necessarily totally sold on the idea right and yes you just said something here uh just a second ago let me go up and read it here Da, 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 da. And it says, I call the move stupid. <laughs> in, in a roundabout way, that is pretty much what you said in uh, in Discord, but a, little, but a little wordier than that. Uh, but, you know, it is it is definitely a system that can be abused. Oh, it's right. That's right. That's, that's right. You mentioned that the money could be uh, held in escrow before it gets paid out. So that way you're not necessarily giveth and then taketh away. You are, you know, uh, you're holding the money, hold on to the money. And then at the end of that 30 day, then you pay it out. Um, last I check, EU has a 30-day money back, not 14, and it didn't specify the item unless it got updated in the past two years. Oh, okay. That's talking about um yeah, there are there are your local laws and all that stuff. Like obviously those are gonna have uh you know some kind of impact on things. Hey, face thanks for that uh, that fresh sub. The uh, alerts are turned off, but thank you. Um in the EU, it's either 14 or seven days. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess it depends on where you live. You know, different laws, different different uh, areas. Moving on, though. Let me see. I lost my news page. Da 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 da. The Xbox One. No, no, it's not the Xbox One X. This is the Xbox Series X. That's right. The X. Well, I guess more people talk about this. See, uh, since shitty people would have been shitty regardless anyway. If people get thirty days of refund, wouldn't it just mean that there will be an increase in refunds uh, only for games that sucks after four or something hours? Yeah, yeah, and that's and that's the thing. It's like there are plenty of games that you know you play, and then you are like you know two and a half hours in beyond the Steam return policy. Which, by the way, they'll still return it if you don't do a ton of returns. Um, and maybe the game sucks, and you want to get a refund, and you might be stuck with the game if you play it on Steam. So this is a way of them trying to get more customers for sure. Yes, there's going to be an increase in the amount of people that are going to be abusing this for certain. That's 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 a hundred percent going to happen. Uh, but at the same time, the number of people that get in to actually buy product might and keep that product might offset the number of people that are abusing the policy. Uh, the refund policy would be okay-ish if GOG purchased licenses from their clients and then were responsible themselves instead of playing with their clients' money. There you go. That's a very that you're right. You're right. That's a very uh, sensible way to way that it should have been done but the game developers problems for making a sucky game in that case yes i know this is a good way to test games but it's different on gog drm free case yeah so we'll we'll obviously uh i here's what i'm wondering like in the case of like the nvidia geforce now where you know game companies just basically straight up pulled out which by the way i think bethesda just recently pulled out of that as well excuse me um it's a beer burp <laughs> um and and uh, Bethesda also came to the id games as well so it's basically all the catalog is gone uh but with 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 uh with that happening you know it's like well i guess G- people could just pull out of gog as well Co- <laughs> they could pull out of gog as well so you know i'll pay attention to see if there's if any of that kind of stuff happens over the next couple of weeks but i don't think i don't see it happening i don't i don't see i don't see people like pulling out i think that the number of people they're going to get in and i think this is a calculated move right the number of people they get in to actually buy more product is going to offset the number of people that are going to be abusing the system and they're going to end up making more more sales uh overall they won't know until beyond 30 days of course for the initials uh initial numbers but yeah <sighs> if unlimited returns was that big of a problem zappos would have gone under 10 years ago that's yeah that's true. I don't think I've ever ordered anything from Zappos. Xbox Series X. We've got a couple of details here, a couple of feature things that uh, were released. So first off, it has a 12 teraflops GPU, uh, variable rate shading tech, HDMI 2.1, quick resume. This is actually the one, this is actually the most interesting thing. You can quick resume um, that's an X rectangle. Uh, more than one game. So similar to like on a mobile device where you'll have, you know, uh, Snapchat open and Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and you won't have Facebook, I'm sure. Um, 
you know, you can just switch between them super fast. And so that's what kind of the, that's the theme that they're going with. They want people to be able to just uh, swap between games that are current, that are actually just in a holding pattern uh, and quick resume them. Even, even after a restart, which is something that I don't know. PCs don't even do that shit. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's, that's a feature that's going to be, be coming in the future, I guess. But, um, but yeah, you could just fucking just restart a computer or restart the Xbox and still resume. Now, I don't know if, when you would necessarily have to do that, but just being able to get into a game quickly is makes such a big difference on how often you play that game. Let's talk about let's 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 fucking let's talk about Wreckfest for a second. And how long it takes to load that fucking game. And how I'm like, I sit here, I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm gonna play a little wreck fest. I'm gonna play a little, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna fucking sit here and play wreck fest. I turn on the controller and then I launch the game and then I'm just relax. I grab a beer. I take another drink. Still waiting. Still waiting. And then if finally comes up and then i get in and i realize oh it doesn't recognize the controller and i have to restart the client i had to restart the game because i turned on the controller and i didn't wait long enough for steam to pick it up or something so i have to restart the game and i had to do the whole thing over again and by then i'm already drunk <laughs> i'm already drunk and i don't remember the gameplay session anymore because i had so much downtime waiting so yeah the oh shit i forgot my mod i forgot to turn off mods or yeah exactly so yeah, it is such a lengthy process to get, when it's such a lengthy process to get into a game and play it, it, it discourages you from wanting to play it. I mean, Grand Theft Auto 5. You know, if you don't play if you don't play Wreckfest, then you definitely understand this if you play Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, it's it just takes a long time. If you could get into GTA 5 like that, like if you get just fired up and just you're just in from your last gameplay session from a week ago because it was held in suspended animation or whatever the fuck the Xbox Series X is gonna be doing. You would probably play it more often. I almost guarantee you probably would. Destiny 2, any game, any game. Just fire it up and just get back in. Play a quick match. Done. <sighs> so, that is an awesome feature. They also have what's called smart delivery. Smart delivery will allow you to buy or, buy or acquire or, you know, whatever. Uh, any Xbox uh, One or Xbox Series X game. And it will... Uh-oh, what is that? Uh, and it will automatically choose the correct game to play uh, on your system. So what that means is basically if you have an Xbox One title, you can just plug it in and it'll play, right? Uh, it's kind of a weird way of kind of saying that, but we should also, I should also mention that it is backwards compatible all the way back to Xbox Classic by putting the disc in. As far as I know, yeah, putting the uh, disc straight from the disc. So I have like a stack of old Xbox classic games up there. I don't know what I have, like golf or something. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so that is awesome. Because <laughs> then you can go to the you swap meet and, and just pick up all kinds of cheap games and they will just work and they will take advantage of the hardware. It's not a... Uh, according to the article, it's not a, it's a, you know, a, a virtual machine or anything like that. It is apparently actually increasing the fidelity. Uh, things are going to load faster. It's going to play smoother. Like it's just, and Wreckfest is not loaded yet. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to make your previous gaming experiences better. Cut down on load times is obviously a thing that's going to do. Um, and then the internet crucified them, and rightfully so. Yeah, exactly. Digital downloads only. Yeah, it's because physical media is still a big thing for console people, guys. Like, I understand, you know, being PC. When's, I mean, I'm sure that probably less than half of you guys even have a CD-ROM drive in your PC. Uh, and probably none of you guys have one in your laptops, unless your laptop is, like, dirt-ass old. But, yeah, it is... Um, it's still a thing. It's still it's still a thing. CD ROM costs extra money. Yeah, I just bought a new CD ROM drive. Yeah, well, guess what? You're in that lower half. <laughs> My scientific study. Uh, I have I have one, two. I have three functioning PCs, and none of them have a, an optical drive. It's just something you don't fucking need. 
You don't need it on a PC. But if they don't have it on a, on, a, on an Xbox or something, for some reason it feels weird. Um, and probably the last thing that's really important for for PC players, actually, because every time we touch a console game and like the the screen is like a slideshow because it's only forty five frames per second and we can't stand it. Uh, they have mentioned in a roundabout way, or they 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 have said that the sixty FPS is going to be standard. Right? Right? Finally? Finally? 60 FPS standard? Hey! Man! That's great! Up to 120 FPS. So, and I've never, I don't think I've ever even, outside of my phone, I've never seen a screen that supports more than 60 FPS. So I don't even know what it, what it is. I don't even know what that looks like. I have no idea. Uh-oh, what is this paper hat? Is this breaking news? Can't just drop a link like that and not say nothing. IGN. Oh, there it is! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, damn. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. That's right! Breaking news. The coronavirus has taken its latest victim. GDC 2020. Rip. Is GDC count? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is GDC? Oh, I'll put it in a. Uh, I didn't have my history. Uh oh, it's not updated yet. It's not updated yet. It can't. It's not real. It's not real. No, 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 no. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. GDC. Uh, GDC has officially been canceled this year due to coronavirus concerns. Well. Great job on that, by the way. Getting that, getting that. Who is that? X. No, no, who is that? No, no, hold on. Let me go up there and thank that person for getting that breaking news in there. The paper hat! Dropping the, dropping the news. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, the page is in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Is it not updated yet? Nope, not yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, later. So, uh, answer to the uh, GDC Council Yet site, Pack South Simulator. Oh, no. No, no, no. What are they doing? Wait. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I, <laughs> the, every, this is like every crosswalk. Um, yeah, I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be uh, a Pax Pox simulator. Like it's gonna show, like you know, people whatever getting the, getting germs and such. So yeah, so GDC is officially canceled now. Like I said, man, like all day, like like the 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 news every, every day this week. It's like it just keeps changing. Like, there's just so much stuff happening surrounding this. It's it's an active news story, and it just keeps on changing. There's so much stuff happening. Um, yeah, that's wild. So it's actually closed. It's actually closed. Now my friend's going to text me and he's going to say, hey, did you see this is done? It's like, bitch, I'm doing fucking news. Of course I saw it. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll get back to the, to the stuff we were talking about. So the Xbox uh, Xbox uh, Series X, it's a thing and it's coming out sometime soon. Um, but we know that it supports backwards compatibility, 120 FPS, 60%, 60 FPS standard. It's good stuff. Some good stuff. Um there have been some, and this, we'll just kind of touch on this for a second. Uh, 20, 120 FPS coronavirus. Uh, scrap, you got ripped there. Uh, so the... Let's see. Uh, okay. That looked like, I don't know what that was, scrapped, but... Um, so the, the website is updated. <laughs> okay. All right. There it is. Oh, well postponed, dude. So let me see. Uh, here's the here's the actual update. Here we go. We'll, we'll we'll focus on this for a second. We'll skip the PlayStation Five thing. It's just basically just a little bit of new. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, site is dead. Rip. Well, <laughs> so this is after close consultation with partners in the game development industry and community around the world, organizers have made the decision to cancel the game developers conference i guess they probably said postponed for some reason i don't know why they would say postpone it's not like people are going to go out of their way to come back um respect <laughs> that's right respect uh nvidia's big format gaming screens oh shit 
Well, we'll 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 we have other news to talk about right now. So yeah, we'll uh, postpone to 2021. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So well, that's uh, well, that pretty much wraps up that whole GDC story right there. Coronavirus took it down. Done. So PlayStation Five. <sighs> We have a thanks to GameStop uh, putting a a little bit of little blurb down here. We've a, we've been able to extract a little bit of information from the about the PlayStation Five. Now we don't have a ton of info, and I, honestly, this is basically nothing. But it supports up up to 8K televisions. So for those of you guys who have 8K TV, is there even one of you guys who has? their eyes on an AK TV? I don't think so. Uh, see, eight core AMD chipset, SSD storage, ooh, PC players, ooh, whoa, SSD, uh, backwards compatible with PS4 and only Linus Tech Tips for reals, uh, PS4 and PSVR. So it's backwards compatible with the most recent generation. No news on whether or not it's going to be backwards compatible with the PS3, PS2, and PS1. Uh, that's going to be a much more difficult thing for them to tackle because that will require emulation for them to go back and support those older uh, older platforms. It was just a totally different system then. Um, but Xbox did it, so why not? So that's uh, that's what we're able to pull. This is basically you know sign up to get notifications, and news, and all that stuff for uh, the PS5, courtesy of of GameStop, uh, and they just happen to have that blurb at the bottom there, and, and uh, some news sites that were able to pick that up. Um, Xbox may win if PlayStation don't get backwards compatibility. No, it's true. Yeah, where is my Vita compatibility, dude? For reals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just i mean there, if you own a vita i feel like you probably have at least like 10 games man because it's like it was just a thing like people that own a vita really fucking loved it and they they bought games for it because they loved it so much and uh, then they bought movies for it and that ended up being uh that ended up being a loss entirely <laughs> hey back it's about all the way to original ps1 hmm we'll see uh, no official word they have not officially said anywhere yet so um, speaking of GameStop, GameStop is trying something new. They are going with a kind of a test. Like they're testing concepts in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So for any of you guys in Tulsa, Oklahoma, please go and check out uh, some of these new concept stores that they have popped. There are four of them in the area. Terrell, go check it out. Let me know what you think. I mean, if you got time. Uh, so. What they're doing here is they're trying to capture a bit of that. They're kind of describing it uh, as kind of like an Apple, like Apple store kind of feel. They want it to be a bit of an experience, like a destination, everything uh, where they can have these playing areas for people to go and play, hang out. There's couch co-op they're going to do. They're, they're trying to cut down on the amount of screaming that happens in the store. If you ever go into uh GameStop PC Bang. Totally. Yeah. But if you ever go into a GameStop, you you know it's like there's there's some GameStop TV playing where they're like talking about some you know gaming news or something and it's screaming at you and there's an ad playing over here and there's posters everywhere and all that stuff. And they're trying to like reduce it. Right here, it says trying to reduce the level of noise from product and advertisements and focus on videos and trailers over posters uh, or signs. So kind of pare down and simplify a little bit more. Now this this design looks a little like what they have right here, I, I see what they're trying to do. They have the, you can see they have a screen here. They have a screen right here. Uh, we'll pop this open here. We get a closer look. Uh, so they're trying to go for a more pared down, simplistic experience. Uh, and you, but there's but they're using they're using existing uh, existing hardware, existing uh, um, uh, uh, advert displays. Sorry, uh, it's the, the fucking the quarter coronas fucking me up, man. Um, so they're trying to they're trying to create an experience, and they're using the existing stuff because obviously they don't want to spend a lot of money on it. But I imagine they're gonna have you know custom displays and everything set up to better support that kind of experience. You know, um, they did mention that they have tons of SKUs that just basically don't sell and just take up space. If you ever go into if you ever been into a GameStop, you'll see that there's uh, uh, that there's just tons of product that like who the fuck buys this. Right? Like who who's gonna wanna buy a squishy keychain fob for 
uh, some random game that like nobody plays. Like I don't know. Like it's it's it just feels like it's just too much stuff going into a game. I go into GameStop. I go into GameStop because I know it's not gonna be around forever. Like I go into fries. I go into fries because I know it's not gonna be around forever. So I want to take it in, and then when it's gone, it's gone, and then I can just be like, I remember I used to go there. Um. 90 percent crap in those stores exactly exactly so uh they said all this extra space that they're gonna be they're freeing up by getting rid of a bunch of those SKUs. uh makes room for couch co-op which every concept store has at least one couch co-op station the community table for tabletop games in most stores uh, and the gaming stations which differ in number and type from store to store every station has all three major consoles plus pc connected to it with a variety of popular recent titles for them to try, the first 15 minutes of play is free for those who just want to demo a game before buying it, and then customers can play can pay by the hour to play for longer. This is where the PC bang part comes in, right? Um, da, 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 da. There are alternative buy-in options as well for those who want day-long or week-long passes or event packages like birthday parties or for tournaments. They're going to hold their own tournaments and such. So, like a Fortnite tournament or Mario Kart tournament or something like they, they're, they're setting themselves up to be able to do and hold those kinds of events and do that. And again, like make it a bit of a destination. Uh, I'm sure like to try before you buy emphasis doesn't extend just games themselves. Accessories and controllers are out in the open for customers to both see and touch. Um, <laughs> portable broadcast backpack boy that thing was just a mess but it worked. It worked way before anybody else was doing IRL. So here's an example of their tabletop, the uh, uh, area that they're setting up here. You know what? Like, I have, I, I have, I have been to, uh, God, what was it? it I know, you know what, what? I think it was like a games workshop or something like that. So obviously they were there, but, um, they had a table in the back and people like in the, in the actual floor area and people were playing, people were just sitting there just like talking and, and chilling and playing. And I get the destination part, right? GameStop just moved to 2010 per, pretty much. I mean, well, yes and no. I mean, what other option do they have? You know, like there's not a whole lot of, I mean, they have a big CRT back there with Mario Kart on it. Maybe they have Smash on it. But yeah, it, it does seem like they're trying to, uh, trying to update to the point where they can make it a destination and make it a place to go and hang out. So they're a YMCA for games. Why not make that a thing? You know, why not make that a thing? Uh, I know that we could play games and just chill in our houses, and not go anywhere. But like, what if we could go somewhere and have those experiences, like out with other people, and just go and have fun? Now, I know it's not this doesn't. I'm thinking uh, from a from the perspective of being a father, right? Like, I'm gonna take CA yeah, exactly Monster Club, but why? Uh, for me, I want to get Declan out and get him socialized and and like a dog, uh, get him socialized and you know and have him play games with other people outside of just me. Um, a little more frequently you know just just a community a community game hubs exactly and they have you know game nights or something maybe they're playing some game that Declan likes and I could take him out there and he could go and experience that uh I think that this is an interesting concept I don't know if it's something that's going to actually play out and work uh in the long term but but uh but what will David Busters do to compete da you know David Busters that's uh we have a David Buster's kind of uh, Wait. close. I said to click on that again. Uh, kind of close, close, and it's uh, you know it's fun. Like their system of like using a card, or you could just tap the card like an RFID and, and to pay for pay for your uh, games and everything. It's kind of nice, you know. It's like just like they always, they always have cards uh, for that kind of system or whatever. But um, uh, but they're just making it more convenient, and easy. Just kind of walk around just to play games, and Declan loves it. Lo absolutely loves it. Uh, GameStop canceled their rooms due to coronavirus. Exactly. I need fake quarters to put in slot, baby. I need that. No, no, no more tokens. No more tokens. Although it was nice getting five tokens for a dollar, right? Remember that? Man, five tokens for a dollar? Whenever I went to a place, it was like four. How many tokens did I get for a dollar? Four. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, Martha, we saw it. We saw it. It is, uh, they didn't update it. Oh, shit. There's more. There's more. It says uh, all current paid registrants will be receiving a full refund within four to six weeks. Additionally, all applicable pass holders will be receiving their GDC Vault access emails within three weeks. For more information, please visit our frequently asked questions page. Uh, help a bunch of great folks cover their lost expenses here. So, yeah, here it is. Game Dev World. Many developers have spent a significant amount of money on travel hotel visas. Yeah, no, this is this is serious. Like this. Is, People have spent a lot of money. Let me tell you, I could tell. Wait, uh, <laughs> um, I have been to GDC 
a number of times because it's here in the city. So like I, I try to go uh, at least every other year, but I did for a period there. I went every single year from like probably 2009 to 2016 or so. I went pretty much every year. GDC is fucking expensive. Uh, getting a room at GDC is going to cost you two or $300 a night. GDC alone is already five days. Like it's like five fucking days of of you know keynotes stuff the show floor i think is like three days in the middle or something uh it's just a lot it's a lot so you're getting a room for so many i have put thousands and thousands of dollars on my credit cards for zam just to host like three people like like serious i think it was like six or seven thousand dollars that i spent at gdc for three people it's just crazy it's crazy how much it costs to go so yeah you know these people that you know, I mean, maybe just go and experience a city, I guess, <laughs> that's going to be on lockdown, I guess. But it's a serious amount of money. I wonder how much not having GDC and maybe E3 will affect what games uh, get the most sales. You know, GDC isn't really known to be like an announcement venue, right, for uh, or avenue for, for games necessarily. Uh, although there are announcements that do ha- occur there. Most most of it's more, uh, you know, industry and employee focused. They try to hire, do hires, do do hiring on on location, everything there. Um, oh, I guess the train jam is happening right now, or will be. I wonder if the train jam is going to be canceled. The train jam, I feel like, is probably one of the more interesting parts of of uh, GDC. Train jam is it starts in I think Chicago, and you buy a ticket, and it's basically a whole bunch of developers on a uh, on a single train. And you take a train from Chicago to San Francisco, and then you go to GDC. So it happens a week for GDC, which is, I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's still going to happen. But uh, yeah, I, I, I seen the G Link vid. I, know I have not seen a G Link vid, any, any video on uh, GDC. Um, yeah. Wait. Huh. Huh. Well, we'll, I mean, that's neither here nor there because I mean, whether or not it happens doesn't matter. I'm just, those people are going to, uh, the Corona Express, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, even if you don't have E3, etc., these companies can still do stuff on Twitch and YouTube, etc., so game announcers can still happen. You're just not stuck in the arena for it. Now, on that note, Nintendo is the king of that, right? Every, when Nintendo Direct comes out, everybody is, like, on it. And all Nintendo Direct is, like, even though it's a live stream, it's just a, it's an edited, like, video that they just play for you. And then you watch it, and then you you eat it all up, and you dissect every part of it, and you're super hype, and you're like, yes. And it's kind of like watching, you know, uh, a sh- you know an announcement show or a keynote or whatever at Gear Three or something. Uh, so m- this actually might do more lasting damage, not necessarily GDC, because GDC, like I said, is still a you know technology driven, employee driven, industry driven convention. But in terms of um, conventions that are more uh consumer focused like e3 this might be the last straw for them because if e3 doesn't happen and all these game companies are like well you know we still have to make the announcements for these games because we have to make money uh and they make the announcements for the games through their own means memes uh, memes sure (laughs) uh and what if it's successful you know, what if they put out the videos and people eat it up and they're like, oh, this is this is the compilation of, uh, you know, the, here, here's, a, here's a bunch of videos from what would have been E3 or whatever, but it didn't happen. So here's all these games and people end up watching it and they and it ha- yeah, it has a significant negative impact on E3. And then what happens next year, E3, then nobody goes. Uh, some companies already canceled the E3 appearance anyway, so I don't think E3 would make a, much of an impact. Yeah, that, that's that's the next thing is going to happen. E3 is in uh june i think it's usually in june uh or somewhere around let me see uh e3 2020 is in yeah june 9th so it's june 9th so there's still there's still some time to get to you know b- b- to figure out what we're gonna do with the coronavirus but it's probably gonna cancel <laughs> yeah i i seriously do believe that pax east is probably gonna be the, the last big gaming convention for the foreseeable future um I can't see TwitchCon Amsterdam happening. I really don't see that happening. Uh, I can't see, uh, I mean, obviously PAX Prime, uh, E3 is not going to happen. BlizzCon is still pretty far away. TwitchCon uh, uh, in the U.S. in San Diego is September 
25th or so. It's September 20 something. Um, that's still a good ways away. So that's still like a maybe, but pretty much for the rest of summer, I think you could, you could expect that there's going to be no conventions like this is going to get canceled um, across the board. Not necessarily the big ones like E3 and, and, and obviously GDC, but even the smaller ones, as we've, we've already seen, I'm going to be pulling my list here. Uh, let's see. Facebook F8, Mobile World Congress, uh, CCP Games E Fan Fest, Capcom, Capcom uh, Pro Tour, uh, IEM Catavise. All, all of these big gatherings of, of players, uh, it's going to get nixed. TwitchCon will be the last safe sanctuary. <laughs> we'll see nothing games. No cons for a year. Thanks, Obama. They can do all that stuff from in-game studio and maybe save money that way. Exactly. Hey, at least E3 gets an excuse. It's not that uh, companies cancel on us. It's that we can't get companies in. It's just that we had to cancel because of the coronavirus. Yeah, that's that's going to be their excuse. Everyone's going to know the truth, though. Uh, just rent an iPod on a Segway for uh, for the conventions. Just rent, just rent a, just a bubble. Just a big old bubble. Ah, uh, I think that is... No, no, that's not quite it. I'm not going to leave you guys with coronavirus bullshit. I'm going to leave you guys with, uh, with, uh, with some, some, some yeah, awe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, the 2020 Pokemon Oceania uh, International Championships happened. And I want you guys to see the... Some of you guys have already seen it. Uh, I want you guys to see the final match that occurred. I know a lot of you guys probably play Pokemon, so so this is uh, this is probably not news to you. This way, this just happened just like this week. Yeah, the champ. So shh. Sh 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 reading that perfectly, predicting that protect on the Rhyperior, and she just needs to find a way to knock out this Rhyperior, and she will be the next champion. This is down to the absolute wire. Tyranitar going for the superpower right into the Rhyperior, and it's enough to get the knockout. Congratulations to Simona, we're next to Oceania International Look at champion. it! The crowd is going It's so cute! <laughs> I love your friend comes over and gives her a hug. Seven years old. Seven years old. Wins wins her first esports tournament at seven years old. It's just I I watched the video and I I watched the video not knowing it was coming and I saw it. I was just like, oh it's so it's so great. It's gotta be so their parents must be fucking proud. She gives an interview here. It's so funny. I gotta play this part. Uh she plays this video or she uh let me she's really quiet, so you have to like listen here. Thank yous to say to the people uh, that we're supporting you. Well, uh, my friends and my family and my coach. I'm sure they're all. <laughs> She's like my my friends and my friend Stephanie and my coach. It's just so it's so great. Uh, it's 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 great to see like you know uh, that esports are are are. Uh, uh, are being picked up by kids and, and you know all this stuff I mean, that they're that they're games that kids can play and be competitive with and it's just it's just adorable so i want to leave you guys with that and none of this coronavirus bullshit so oh probably i mentioned yeah brothgar yeah there you go brothgar did get his account back i think i mentioned it last week i'm not sure but yeah brothgar did get his account back oh no i just right no it happened over the weekend so brothgar got his account back for oxygen included so he's back everything's fine don't know exactly what happened there so that's all their good news there's good news there's good news so yes, there it is. Thank you so much for hanging out. Of course, everybody here, my lovely co-hosts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Mike B. AK Phony. AK Mike B all the things. AK Mike B photo on other things. Chat hang out for a second. I'll be back in a second, okay? Goodbye. <laughs>